and welcome to Community Players, home for the holidays. My name is Nick Benson, and I am the president of the Board of Governors for Community Players Theater, and I want to thank you for joining us. We have a wonderful show prepared for you, but in the spirit of the season, let's take some time to reflect on a year that none of us will soon forget. Adapt. Flexibility. Pivot. Postponed. Rescheduled. Canceled. These are the words that have dominated the live theater landscape for the past nine months. Like the rest of the world, the theater came to an abrupt halt in mid-March during the opening weekend of Big Fish, and we played the waiting game like everyone else. But as time went on, we knew we had to find a way to bring theater and performances to our community, both for your entertainment and our sanity as performers. This led to the development of our online series, The Show Must Go On. Over the past months, we presented two weeks of showcases, hosted an online masterclass with a Broadway superstar, and presented the musical title of show using new cameras and streaming technology the theater purchased that we can now use for future shows and presentations. Behind the scenes, beyond preparing for those projects and brainstorming ideas to move the theater forward, the board has been busy. We have been updating the website's history page. That's over 400 shows in case you wanted to know. Investigated updated ticketing software to make controlling your season tickets, purchasing tickets, and scanning tickets all quick and easy processes for our patrons. And we have continued to investigate the best solution and time frame to move forward with the auditorium renovation project. Yes, the auditorium renovation project. Obviously, that project is still on hold. As we prepare and plan for the spring, the conversation about the renovation will be at the top of the list in terms of finding the solution. What we do know is that we will need everyone's help. So please, if you haven't already, go to our renovation website, reno.communityplayers, Dot org, and pledge to purchase a seat for our new auditorium. While there, you can also purchase some sweet merchandise to rep community players around town. Mm -hmm. Then tell your family, friends, coworkers, and neighbors to also go to the website and help CPT. I wasn't kidding during the show must go on that we will be talking about this for a while. This is a half million dollar major renovation that is sorely needed to improve CPD's production value and most importantly, update the viewing experience for you, our dedicated patrons. Again, that website is reno.communityplayers.org. Now with that said, let's move on to home for the holidays. You know what? This doesn't feel quite right. One second. Now this is how you introduce a holiday event. I am so excited to introduce you all to Home for the Holidays by Community Players Theater. Tonight will be an evening of wonderful song, story, and dance that will certainly put you in the holiday spirit. And while we weren't able to film everything in person as we had initially hoped, those involved rally together to film themselves so that we can all share in the festivities of the season. Enjoy seeing some friendly faces and hearing familiar voices as we take you on a journey through memories and hopes for the future, all lovingly brought together by a true stalwart of Community Players Theater. Thank you for all the times you, our family, have spent with us in the past, the times and consideration you show us now, and the many wonderful days before us. And now, home for the holidays.
Can I help you? The movie? It's, it's been canceled? Yes, I'm so sorry. Due to the current pandemic uh, restrictions, we had to cancel the movie. Our patrons, they're our utmost concern. We understand. Hopefully next year we'll be able to celebrate again. Hopefully next year. What's up? Oh, not much, not much. I'm, uh, I'm just here at the theater. I thought I'd do a little cleanup since the uh, since the holiday movie was canceled. Do you need some help? I mean, I can stop by. It's the weekend before Christmas. You shouldn't have to do that alone. Oh no, 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 no! Look, Kathy and Eli are out. We're out of town, and so I didn't have anything else to do, and I wanted to keep busy. So I'm all right. No big deal. It's the holidays, bud. You shouldn't be alone. Hey, do you remember all the fun we used to have with our theater family around the holidays? Yeah. Remember the time that Natasha saying, have yourself a merry little Christmas? Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself a merry little Christmas Make the old tide gay From now on Our troubles will be miles away Here we are as in olden days Happy golden days of your faithful friends who are dear to us gather near to us once more through the years we all will be together if the fates allow Hang a shining star upon the highest bough And have yourself a merry little Christmas
Or when Kristen and Eden did rocking around the Christmas tree. Oh, that was awesome. forget Nancy's White Christmas or Erica singing the most wonderful time of the year. The sun is shining, the grass is green, the orange and palm trees swell. There's never been such a day in Beverly Hills, LA. But it's December the 24th, and I am longing to be up north, to be up north. Christmas card I write 
May your days be merry and bright, and may all your Christmases be Remember my 
my favorite things and then I don't feel so bad. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite That was a riot. So much fun. I really enjoyed Bob's rendition of the Christmas song, too. One. 
Yeah, and the Hawks were hilarious singing um, Mommy Kiss, Mama Kissing Santa Claus. Yeah, that was it. And uh, it was hilarious. If you're sure you're okay, keep the faith, my friend, huh? Hey, Scott, what's up? Hey, Judy. I was just talking to Bruce. He's at Players mopping the floor by himself. By himself? It's the weekend before Christmas. I know. I mean, I offered to help. 
I just think he's lonely. Kathy and Eli are out of town. I mean, I tried to remind him of all the fun times we normally be having without COVID. You know, I, I just think he, he may just want some alone time. But gosh, I really feel bad for him. Yeah, that is kind of depressing. Hey, you think we should surprise him? I mean, you could give him a call and I'll round up some of the CPT family for a virtual surprise. That's a great idea. I'll call or video chat him right now. Text me when you've got everything ready. Perfect, yeah. Hey, thanks for your help. Yeah, I'll keep you posted. Text you soon. Later. Bye. Hello. Hey, Bruce. How's it going? Scott said you were at the theater. Did you need any help? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not doing anything that's really important. I'm just kind of putzing around. It's the weekend before Christmas. You should be having some socially distanced holiday fun. Hey, did you hear about Joelle's performance of Silent Night that they're going to stream? Yeah, yeah, I heard that Callie was working on filming a version of Santa Baby. I bet it will be hilariously awesome.
Santa baby, slip a sable under the tree for me. Been an awful good girl, Santa baby, so hurry down the chimney tonight. Santa baby, a mini coupe convertible too in blue. I'll wait up for you, dear Santa baby, so hurry down the chimney tonight. Think of all the fun I've missed. Think of all the fellas that I haven't kissed. Next year I could be just as good if you check off my Christmas list. Santa baby, I want a yacht and really that's not a lot Been an angel all year, Santa baby, so hurry down the chimney tonight Santa honey, one thing that I really do need, the deed To a platinum mine, Santa baby, so hurry down the chimney tonight Santa cutie, and fill my stocking with a duplex and checks. Sign your ex on the line, Santa cutie, and hurry down the chimney tonight. Come and trim my Christmas tree with some decorations bought at Tiffany. I really do. Santa baby, forgot to mention one little thing, a ring. No, I don't mean on the phone, Santa baby, so hurry down the chimney tonight. Hurry down the chimney tonight. Hurry down the chimney tonight. Hurry Absolutely. Sharon's recording, Where Are You Christmas? So you know that will be amazing. And I'm dying to see Missy and Vicky's rendition of Winter Song.
heart and your mind will feel like Christmas all the time. Oh, I feel you Christmas. I know I found you never.
Well, those sound amazing. You know, I can't wait to see them. I mean, it's really amazing the way that everyone have found new ways to, to pull together to keep the holidays alive and going through all this pandemic. I know, right? Well, anyway, I better let you go, boo-boo. And <laughs> just remember, no matter what, you've got friends. Thanks, Judy. There is nothing like your theater family to get you through the tough times. You know, yeah. you know, I just cannot wait for everything to get back to normal. I feel you there. Just remember, there are brighter days ahead. Oh, by the way, could you check the computer in the box office? I don't think anyone's made sure they were still updating and receiving emails and stuff in a while. Sure, sure, sure. Listen, I'll do that right now. And you take care and have a good evening, Judy. Yeah. Bye, Bruce. Happy holidays. Oh, my goodness. Where did you all come oh, from? Oh, 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 nice to see you. Hello, everybody. Well, you seem kind of down. So, well, Judy and I conspired to get some friends together for an impromptu holiday Zoom party. This is incredible. We have some more surprises for you, too. Never grow up, boo-boo. But if you do, here's our grown-up Christmas list for you.
Christmas list. What is this solution for an innocent son Maybe only in our blind belief can we ever find the truth. This is my grown-up Christmas list. This is my only life on me. This is my grown-up Christmas list. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays.
what we still can't see. It's up to us to be the change. And even though we all can still do more, there's so much to be thankful for. Even with our differences, there is a place we're all connected. Each of us can find each other's light. Tonight we pray for what we know can be, and on this day we hope for what we still can't see. It's up to us to be the change, and even. This world needs so much more. There's so much to be thankful for. separate, but our hearts are always at home. Thank you. 
you guys. Thank you all for pulling me out of my holiday funk. I just miss you all. Good night. Merry Christmas. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. The mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than ever, his person they came, and he whistled and chanted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. It's dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, so up to the housetop his coursers they flew the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas, too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. As he was dressed, all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. 
a bundle of toys he had flung on his back. Are you leaving? And he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon it gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. Laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. by yourself, do you? Yeah, we cut the trip short. Oh. Well, oh, hop. You want to hop in and get some dinner? Sure. 